and welcome. I am Civilian, and this is a new run of Sunless Sea. Our first run was quite extensive. It went on quite long. It was quite successful, I thought. Our second run lasted basically no time. We left port. We got murdered. That was about all that we achieved. So now we're playing as our rival's rival. Uh, so we are now the, the rival of Z villain. Let's be... I think let's go for, like, pages. Trickery and knowledge. We will be a poet. We were a struggling poet, but now we are a Z captain. And we've got some echoes, we've got some pages, and we've got a sly navigator and someone is looking up for passage. Uh, the last time we went for our father's bones, I would go for a different one. Actually, yeah, let's go for ful fulfillment. We're going to gather a hundred tales. Uh, we want to be the most venerated explorer and presumably write some poems about it. Last time we had a captain. Today we will have a sir. We shall be sir. Uh, so our last character was Z villain. Uh, now we shall be. I. Uh, why? Villain? I don't question the naming scheme that we've got going on. And we will uh, look like. Oh, let's be this dude. Yes, we are Y villain. The enemy of Z villain. Anyway. anyway, advice for captains, sell the book. I still haven't read that, and I don't think I'm going to, so that's fine. A passenger. Oh, it's the same person as before. Let's do that. That's going to go great. Labyrinth of Tigers, uh, something. It's fine, we're going to read the morning papers. We got some recent news. And now we shall go to London, where we will ask the Admiralty Survey Office what they need. Guiders mourn in the Corsair's forest. Cool. And that's kind of... Sorry, I'm flicking through this. You do not need to have seen something else. Uh, you... We're going to go to Vendor Bite. Because, <laughs> because I had a bad experience before. And I don't want to have a bad experience again. So we're just going to do that. Uh, we could hire on more crew. And we're going to hire on... Ooh, we got a load of crew. Okay, that worked out well. We're definitely doing that. Uh, and I think that's kind of it. How's our hold doing? Let's get maybe a few more supplies and then we will head out. Sorry to anyone that hasn't seen this game before because you don't, it's fine. I'm just going to power through things. Um, and that's okay. If you would like to see me figuring out this game from the start, go watch the first run. The first one was really the most successful one. Um, and I think the reason that the first run is going to be the most successful that I have for a little while is because I was most, uh, I was somehow uh, most cautious in the first run. And I don't tend to be sufficiently cautious when I am playing games like this. I tend to just charge in and see what happens. Uh, speaking of which, let's go try and sail off the north side of the map and see what happens. That sounds fun. I'm not sure how it's going to go or what's going to happen, but definitely something, if we can make it work. So we will stop off in Hunter's Keep here. The sisters are still here. So I'm not sure. I believe that the map... Oh, let's let's speak to our sly navigator. What do you want? Frostbound. Oh, we went there before, but I've got, I have got I had a bad experience and died. So I don't know if I really want to go there again, but we'll think about it in the long term. Yeah, I'm not sure to what extent... like locations shuffle around that's what i'm trying to say i'm not sure to what extent locations shuffle around in this game because i feel like they do a bit let's go present ourselves to the thing let's have lunch with phoebe i think phoebe's my favorite uh yeah and we gained the supplies cool news 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 oh we can have lunch again let's have lunch with phoebe again Getting loads of supplies. Love the sisters. Hate hate it when bad things happen to the sisters. Not that that ever happens. Not that we're gonna try and stop that. Okay. I don't know what we. I think we needed like mirrors. Maybe I should just wait till I have higher stats and not visit them too much in case it triggers that event. Bats. Bats, you need to chill. Ship. You also need to chill. Everyone just needs to be more chilled in this sea. I'm upset by what happened last run because I died very, very quickly and I didn't expect to. I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like the, it's, I know, I ha, it's been a while since I played, but this, this feels a lot more dense in enemies than I remember. 
uh, for what it's worth. So I think I just need to adjust my expectations, be a bit more cautious. I might be misremembering. I might have got a bit lucky last run with enemy placement. Uh, but yeah, it feels a lot less safe this time around. So we're going to Vanderbite, and then I think we'll press north, get some extra port reports. We're going to try and sail off the north side of the map and see what happens. Might not work. Might work. Blood on the wind. And Vanderbite. The new tomb colonist is not happy. We need mushroom wine. Yeah, I'll bring mushroom wine. Uh, let's do some other stuff. We will, oh, let's visit the first curator again and listen to the whispered request and ask about the Grand Sanatorium and accept the commission and gather gossip and, sorry, I'm absolutely powering through this. If you would like to read this, I'm sorry. Let's, the Carmine Chapel, a little chapel stands alone. You poke your head through the door. The walls are a deep red, just this side of scarlet. A ruby-tinted window at the back glows with a steady light. An electric lamp behind the glass? Rare and expensive, but this is no gaslight. No one is here, and yet you have the sensation that only a moment can go, someone must have been. Uh, let's make a... Well, we haven't eaten people. Let's search the place and fail. Fine. Let's go north. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're gonna, oh, bats, well, we gotta fight the bats, I guess. I'm just, I'm just enabling the combat mode, uh, as early as possible. Bats, 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 no. It's, it's very hard to pin down where I'm supposed to be targeting with the bats. Uh, it's also hard to target where I'm, I think it's like here, where no bats are. Oh well, we will, uh, do we have Terra? We've got Terra, we don't need, ah, I'll put it in a pot. It's only, it only gave us one Terra, that's not much. All clear, it's just bats. Uh, I'm glad that we kept the nicer gun because uh, we seem to be getting in a lot of fights and that's unfortunate, I don't like getting in fights. Uh, our pages score is 50, so we need another 24 fragments to gain a secret. As I said in the last run, we're going to try and prioritise these a little bit more, because I just, I don't think we do enough to prioritise them. Um, some of them appear to be at 26, and I don't remember why. I think we might have, have we, we haven't spent any secrets yet, so maybe doing challenges and succeeding gives you things? I don't really know. Hold on. Okay, we're not quite at the top of the map yet. I thought we'd suddenly hit the end of the world, and I was sad. Uh, we've gained fragments, which should mean we've gained a secret. Yes, we have. There's a, there's a pop-up here telling me I've gained a secret. So we're going to see what's going on in Wither. This is good. I like how it's randomised. I thought we were going to get the same starting quest like every time we started this game, but no, we've got different ones. That's quite exciting. So we'll sail north from here, see what we can find, and then we'll head east to try and grab one more port report, and then I think we'll head back. I think that'll be a good amount of, like a moderate amount of exploring. And with a, let's gather intelligence, and we will explore the town. A castaway, a woman in an iridescent green ga gown, waves vaguely from a rock near the shore. Sorrowful sighs was waft across the water towards you. An idiot castaway? A mermaid? Of course not. Mermaids are a preposterous myth. We're definitely approaching. She won't answer my hails, but she is in obvious need of assistance. A fanged mouth rears from the water, big enough to bite a boat in half or swallow a pig. The woman contorts and slides into the water. She's the tip of the monster's tail. This will be untidy. Okay. So... Uh, let's obliterate it. Okay, let's not. We A terrible toll. The beast scales are proof against pistol shot and it wreaks terrible havoc before you manage to bring it down. You harvest its bones and scrape its hatching young from along the rocks by the shore. Oh, we got a harlot fright. Oh, we can take that back to the, uh, the thing that's going on in London at the moment. Oh, wonderful. Uh... We could buy things, but we can't buy things. So what can we still sell things for? Because I'm trying to build up a bit of a memory, which it's not going to help if I forget. Maybe I should get like a pen and paper because I want to learn where I can buy and sell things. So we've got three uh, Stygian ivory. 
which we could sell for three tales of terror each. I'm not sure if that's a good deal. Uh, I, d I don't know, but you know what? We're just, we'll just stick with what we got, I think. And we'll actually talk to our first officer quickly and increase our mirrors. Proposition, the, the sly navigator. Well, I don't have enough hearts for that. I'm sorry, sly navigator. I would love to proposition you. I'm just because, I mean, I don't know. Oh, we have to go slowly now. Uh, let's go back to London. <laughs> we're not staying here. I wanted to go further north, but we can't because we're too slow. We're just gonna, we're gonna have to go straight south and we're gonna have to try not to die. And I'm gonna try not to sulk too much, but I will sulk a bit. Full power to the engines. Ooh. Hmm. I can drop the engine's temperature to get... Uh, oh, they will occasionally explode. Let's not do that. We'll just head south. Uh, yes. We'll have to come back here. We'll just do this trip again. I'm sure we can find another tomb colonist to take while we're on the way. Did we actually drop off that tomb colonist before? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold. Hold on. Uh, yeah. We've still got the soothing copper long box. I don't know, I think this has been a moderately profitable trip. The port reports should help us at least break even. We found that weird creature thing, although we lost a lot of crew, so um, that's unfortunate. And yeah, okay, we're just going to play it safe. This run, this, this run, hear me, hear me now, this run, we are playing it safe. Okay? Okay. We're going to not do the stupid things like we have in every previous run and it's gotten us killed. We are just, we're going to play it safe, we're going to stick to familiar waters when we are low on health, and we're going to not die, and it's going to be amazing, revolutionary, frankly very unusual, considering my track record. It's going to be great. At least we're using up, like, no fuel on this journey. On the downside, we're gaining a lot of terror, but I think we can offset that. So, uh, since we have got something awaiting us in poor... If I could speak, that would be great. That would probably really help me with this whole YouTube thing. Uh, since we've got a something awaits us in port, we are going to stop at Vendabite on the way back. Just because, like, something will happen. And I like it when things happen, because it's interesting. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, we shall just explore. An attack. You round a darkened corner and start down a broad boulevard lined with grimacing statues. There is a fluttering movement above, and a cloud of frost moths swoop down upon you. You beat them off with your walking stick. They are determined, and the largest are the size of Z-bats, but they are fragile. At last they retreat, leaving three of their number melting into water on the pavement. Their wings are marked with patterns that resemble letters. You peer at them, but the script is already dissolving. Well, that's a pleasant experience. Let's leave and never come back. We'll probably go back. Just like never go back in the very short term. So we're nearly back. I think the ship is trying to pursue us and fight us, but we're just going to snuggle real close to the coast. We're not. No, we're not. No. I refuse to engage with this kind of behavior. Okay? Okay. We're just gonna snuggle up real close to the coastline. We're gonna pretend like nothing's wrong. And perfect. We're close enough to London that we are not gonna be pursued. And that's my favorite kind of place to be in. The glassy chop of dark water. The iron clatter of feet at the hatchway. And let's return to London. And let's, uh, we should figure out what to do with that long box at some point. Because I got that in Fallen London. And now all of my characters start with one of these lock boxes. I haven't figured out what to do with them. Well, it says, it says on it. Uh, delivery to Depot A Station 3. Don't know where Station 3 is. I'm presuming that's a place though. Because that's, that's quite good explicit instructions there for us. For our benefit. Uh, don't know what this is as well. That's just a monstrosity. Don't even worry about it. That's exactly the kind of thing that we quite frankly see all over the place in Fallen London. Oh, I can't believe we're nearly back. That was so slow. Oh, that took so long. But we have finally made it back. Oh, that's such a relief. We got nothing to hide. Don't even worry about it. Uh, let's collect some messages. Something's changed in the knee. Someone wants to sign in. We've got a free evening and this is the Rose Market. 
Labyrinth of Tigers. I have found a rare creature of the labyrinth. Hell yeah. Uh, we've got payment. 500. Delightful. I'm not even going to ask why they're collecting that. A little gift. Let's accept it this time. Hold on. Do we have hold space? We do have hold space. Let's accept this this time. Let's inquire further. And let's accept it. Because I love things. We've got some suspicion, but that's fine. We'll grab... Do we need a specialist surgeon? Well, do we have a surgeon? No. So let's get a surgeon. Cladery air. I still don't know how to actually pronounce that first word. Uh, I'm sure someone will tell me, but... I have not been checking things. Uh, we'll keep the, the free day. We'll read the morning papers. We lost a terror. I mean, we haven't lost all our terror. We've still got quite a lot of terror. But we've lost a terror. Let's go ahead and hand in all of our port reports. We'll hand in these. And we're done. And we have now got lots of things mostly fuel and supplies so what should we do with this with this rich rich amount of fuel and supplies i mean sounds like we should go on a longish expedition i mean that would be an obvious wait first let's let's hire on some more crew again okay eight out of ten uh do we want to cap it out the, nah, but we will go ahead and carouse in the docks, which will reduce our terror. Only 10 echoes, and we've got a recent news. Cool. Uh, oh, we should repair our ship. All kinds of things. Uh, this will completely repair your hull. Costs 100 echoes. That's fine. I think for now, we will... Hmm... So I'm not quite sure, let's see, we don't have anything for the Admiral. So, where should we go? That's the question. So, we've been north. We have got someone aboard. Oh yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Can I sell it anywhere? The Ivory. I can sell it for 28 each. Oh, we could buy mushroom wine. That sounds kind of expensive. How? What were we supposed to do with mushroom wine? We were supposed to take 10 to the person in the north. Captain's lost. Oh, our lineage. Let's see. Suspicion. And bring wine to Vendabite. I think we were supposed to bring 10. So let's just buy... I'll tell you what. We'll make another trip north. And we'll go ahead and try and get off the map. So I will take... I can't do this. It will only let me buy three. Well, I guess we'll just carry... Ah, I've run out of space. Okay. Shops. I guess we'll sell... I don't really want to. Oh, well. Cool. We have sold things. Now we have space. Perfect. Now we shall go north. On a quest. On a mission. Oh, there was also that other thing that we were supposed to get to the north. Oh no, wait, that was a different... <laughs> that was our last character. It's been so little time that I don't even know. Uh, yeah, we're Cumian Canal. We could go to the canal. No, let's go north. Because I want to see if I can get off the map by going through the icebergs. I mean, this map could have been very easily closed off. So I feel as though the developers have definitely put something there by making it not completely closed off. It might actually be closed off as I go further through the, try and go further through the icebergs. It might just not let me. Um, but still, we shall see. Uh, oh, I was supposed to, I was gonna give the news to the ship over there because they give you Z stories for it, but I forgot and I'm gonna have to live with that. We're not gonna stop at Hunter's Keep because they normally give us supplies and we are full on cargo in general. This ship's still here, so I think it's probably finally time for us to battle them. Now that we are not slowed, now that we are not wounded, now that I'm turning our lights on because we have a lot of fuel and our terror is rising rapidly, uh, we're going to let them start the fight. And then once they've... Ooh, okay. There's pirates. 
Are they gonna fight each other or are they both fighting me? Okay. They're both fighting me. Well, that's just delightful. I'm just gonna sit here with them in my lights so I get that fast charge. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Murdered. Loot and scuttle her. We've got a stout crate. Ah, we've got too much stuff. Uh, okay, what did we just pick up? We've gained five supplies. Okay, we just gained five supplies. So I'm gonna put one fuel and one supplies overboard because, because it sucks. Because life sucks and I hate it. I don't hate life. I hate, I hate the way that I cannot target the ship. What the hell? Game. Game, let me fight. Ah, there we go. <laughs> I was very concerned there. I don't think this game expects lots of combat at once, I guess? Would be my assumption. Um, regardless, we are not doing great on health. To be honest, I might have to go back to London after this to repair. Um, no, I would like to press on to Vanderbite. This should be a fairly safe route, relatively speaking. Let's loot and scuttle and we will get a fuel. Uh, that's fine. That apparently fits in our hole, so I'm okay with that. Uh, yes, we just have to be extra cautious on the way back. We've got a doctor aboard, and we've got hearts plus six, iron plus six. Oh, that's nice. Increases the damage your attacks do. Ah, we should read this. The quicker you can find a firing solution. Decreases the range at which enemies will spot you. Ah, we had really high veils last time. Maybe that's why in our first playthrough we were able to, to sneak through. Increases the speed at which you convert fragments to secrets. Ah, that sounds useful then, because then we'll level up faster, right? Inspire, heal, defend. Okay. So, ah, I hadn't actually read these before, which is quite bad, I know. Uh, yeah, I should really make more of a, an emphasis on these. Uh, one of the tomb colonists takes an obvious interest in our crew, specifically the air. Well, first we will get a port report. And then we will look at this trying to get attention thing. Uh, ah, the father. The, f the father? The father. Okay. Um, let's tell. Let's tell you about this. Tell her about meeting her father. That's... I can't... I can't do that. Let's have dinner together. Can I tell her? I can't tell her about her father because I'm not seeking knowledge or something. Anyway, let's provide the wine. And do we want to join the celebration? Absolutely we do. Uh, we've gained some terror, but also a bunch of stuff and we've lost a crew. Was that worth it? Outlandish artifact. Uh, Soothen, Cop Soothen Cooper Longbox. Okay, we definitely need to figure out where station three is. Devil Bone Dice. Well, uh, we did that. Hmm. Let's explore. And then we will... Let's... Uh, we'll take the roll. We have 11 supplies. Picnic? No, let's search warily and fail. I love failing. It's my favourite. Actually, to be fair, failing can be fun. Uh, now then, do we have things we can sell? Uh, we've got recent news which we can sell. Memories of distant shores. We haven't got any tomb colonists. We should get some. It's quite hard to get them. I can't seem to find them that easily. I want to just like pick up a load of coffins and take them north. But apparently that's not that easy to do. So we're going to head up to... With it. Mm, are we? No, we're going to head back to London again. Because our ship's really smashed up. So, you know... Simple life, <laughs> that's all we want. Uh, yeah, we'll head back to London. We'll go ahead and try and remember to use the recent news this time as well and everything. Oh, come on. Please, no. Just, just ignore me. Just, aha, perfect. <laughs> Thought we were going to have to fight again there. Didn't want to fight again. Uh, but it's okay, it's worked out fine, so no, quite frankly I'm completely happy with the situation. Let's go grab a port report on the sisters and maybe reduce our tower a little bit. Let's turn on the lights, we've got a ton of fuel. Um, yeah. And we will offer news and then we will have lunch with Lucy this time because then we lose more terror. Perfect. And back to London. 
Are you proud of me? Because I'm proud of me. I'm playing it much, much safer this game than I have in previous games. Uh, next, uh, poof, what are we going to do? I still am determined to head north and sneak off the edge of the map. Um, but I'm okay with sort of doing it slowly, not doing it when we're when our ship's like jacked up, because I don't know what's going to be there. But we've still got the fuel and we've still got the supplies, so I think we should do that. It's just a matter of when do we... <laughs> We'll get there eventually, okay? Eventually we'll have a run where we don't have to fight a load of things on the way up there and we actually do something useful. I think we're making approximately profit. Not, not like a lot of profit, but I think I, I don't think these, these trips, due to the port reports, uh, due to the power of port reports, I don't think we're actually making a loss on all of this. Let's see. We are going to go... To let's hire on more crew. Beautiful. And we will put our ship in the dry dock. Dry, dry dock. Dry dock. And okay, um the money thing is kind of debatable. There might be a better use for these devil bo bone dice, but I am just going to sell them because I I don't know. Uh, just because I think having some liquid assets would be pretty useful. We're gonna go back north right now. Did I repair the ship? I did repair the ship. Perfect. Even better. I'm even more impressed and proud with myself. Let's go north. And actually, let's also end the episode here for today. I have been Sevillan. This has been Sunless Sea. Uh, next time we're going to go north in a very moderate, very well-paced, very sensible manner and we're going to try not to die. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.